Hello and welcome to the Serene in 15 series. My name is Lucy and I'm a yoga teacher, a birth educator, a postnatal yoga teacher and mum of two. And I've created this series of 15 minute yoga sequences for pregnant women and postnatal mums to make yoga accessible in your busy lives and schedules. These classes are suitable for women who are pregnant over 12 weeks, who are over six weeks postnatal and even those who have never tried yoga before. If you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe for lots of yoga and birth education content. Enjoy your classes. Hello and welcome to Serena 15 today. Come and get comfortable on your mat or in your space. And this sequence is going to be targeted to your hips and your lower body and I really hope you enjoy. Once you've got comfortable on your mat or in your space, I'd like you to sit in a way that you don't need to wriggle or fidget because you are completely comfortable. So do grab a cushion or anything that you might need to sit on to enable that to happen. Once you have found your comfortable spot, we're going to relax our arms onto our knees and just begin with a little bit of breath work and stillness before we move forward. So with your arms and your hands, Fingertips released to the knees. Let's begin to breathe. So with your shoulders dropping away from the ears, we're closing the eyes either down completely or just to look towards the floor, just a way that you can really kind of engage inwards and focus on yourself right now for these last, these first few moments. So once you've found that space, we're going to just breathe in and out of the body, inhaling through the nose or the mouth. Exhaling through the nose or the mouth. It's important that you breathe in a way that is right for you today. And as you breathe, I invite you to let go of any distractions, disturbances that is going on or are going on for you right now. And instead, allow yourself this 15 minutes of serenity. Inhaling. Exhaling, let's let go. Notice how you feel right now. Good, and when you're ready to, let's just blink those eyes open again. And we're going to start to move. Now with your hands onto the knees, I'd like you to start with some really gentle circular motions with the upper body moving forward, side and back to begin moving the body slowly. And we're going to start warming up in these hips and these circular motions are a great way of kind of noticing what's going on in those hips. If you're pregnant watching this, you might really welcome some mobility because during pregnancy, the hips can really feel the effects of your growing, changing body. We also hold a lot of our tension and our stress in our hips. This is why it can feel really nice to get all that tension out. So you're just finding circular motions, just moving however feels right for you. Good. And we're going to take this in a second to all fours. So once we've had a little bit of movement, let's just take one little inhale up with those hands, exhale to come down the center line and moving on to all fours. So if you're pregnant, just take this gently as you move on to all fours. And once you've got here, guys, we're just going to take those shoulders over the wrists, knees about hip width distance apart, and we're going to start to move our bodies in any way that feels right. And what we're trying to do is just get the heart pumping a little bit more, sending all of that oxygenated blood around the body. And there is no wrong way to do this. Just follow along with me. Move that body in circular motions. Thinking about lifting those hips, looking maybe underneath the armpits. And you're just kind of finding any niggling areas in the back and the spine. Really nice. So from here, we're going to open our knees now to the outer edge of the mat for child's pose. Sinking our bottoms right down to the heels and relaxing onto the ground. And if you're pregnant, you might feel like you want to come up here onto all uh, forearms, sorry, and let the head drop. Otherwise, you can come all the way back. And I want you to really focus on sinking and softening down and into these hips. 
letting this area of the body release. So using that breath with every exhalation to relax deeper here into child's pose. Got just a few rounds of breath here. Nice, last round of breath. And let's move a little bit more as we come all the way back up to all fours. Good, bring our knees a little bit closer together again, hip width distance, hands as well. And we're gonna to start to move our lower body. So you're going to step your left foot forward to the outer edge of your mat. And with your hands in front of you, we're going to start to rock forward and back. Now your left knee should just come over the ankle, not the toes. So just adjust this position as you need to, to ensure that you're really looking after that left ankle and making sure the knee is only just coming over it. And we're just moving forward and back here and you'll start to notice perhaps that hip flexor starting to wake up, legs starting to wake up as well. Rocking forward and back. Really good. And then when you next come forward, I'd like you to just hold that posture and walk that foot directly in front of you now with the hand coming on the other side. If you're pregnant and this isn't possible and you don't feel comfortable, keep the posture where it was and stay here. For everybody else, perhaps you can now take your hands onto that front leg, again, knee just over ankle, and maybe even taking those hands all the way up to the ceiling. I'd like you to think about drawing your lower back into a neutral position and bringing your glutes forward slightly to find a stretch on that right hip flexor. You're lifting those arms up and breathing here into the lower body, finding a beautiful stretch. Spread those fingers, reaching those arms up, but allow the shoulders to drop. We want to create space here in the shoulders while we work. Good, planting that front foot into the ground, breathing. Good, glutes coming forward, lovely and hands coming back down to the floor. From here, if you're able to, we're going to just gently sit the bottoms back towards the heel and come forward again. You're going to keep moving to get some great mobility going on in the lower body and using your hands as I am to walk forward and back to support you. And we're just waking up that left hamstring. Really nice. We're going to do that in a, in a second on the other side. Use those hands to support you. Good. After this last round, just sitting back and forward, waking up that left leg, you're going to step that knee back onto all fours. Really nice. From here, we're just going to move that body as we did earlier between each side. Good. Let's come on to the other leg. So stepping your right foot now to the outer edge of the mat and adjust your posture so that the knee is over the ankle, not the toes. From here, with your hands in front, let's just start to rock forward and back. Forward and back. You're just warming up this side of the body. And again, if you're pregnant, this can feel really nice, especially in your later weeks when your hips have taken quite a lot of strain for the last eight to nine months. Good. Just moving and breathing. Good. And then Staying forward here as we walk that foot in front of us, taking the hand onto the outside if we can. And from there, you may be able to take the hands up onto the knee. From here, you may be able to take the hands all the way up, working into the legs, planting that front foot into the ground, reaching those hands up towards the ceiling, but the shoulders are drawing down. Bringing your bottoms forward slightly to find a stretch in that back leg and that hip flexor, lifting up through the fingertips. <sighs> Breathing, last breath here. Good, hands coming down. From here, we start to rock back and forth to really lengthen this hamstring here on the right side. And just do what feels right for you. If it feels right to only come back to here, that's absolutely fine. And then you can walk back again. You're just kind of waking up this right side and waking up the hamstring, maybe even giving it a nice stretch depending on where you go to. You go to. So using your hands to support you.
breathe. Last one, and we're going to then step that foot back onto all fours. Good, well done. From here, just move that body. Really nice, and we're going to come and sit back on our bottoms. So when you're ready to, make your way back to facing each other. And we're going to come into a really lovely hip opener called Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Um, and this is a really nice way to stretch out the hips. Now finding your own place here is really important. You may choose to have um, one hand span between your pelvis and your heels. You may choose to widen that, widen that depending on your mobility, your yoga practice, your pregnancy, um, there's all sorts of factors here, any pelvic discomfort. So find a place that feels right for you with your feet or maybe somewhere between the two. From here, we're gonna hold onto our feet or relax our hands onto the feet. Inhale, lifting up out of the top of the head and as you exhale, we start to fold forwards. And you must fold for as far as, as, far as you feel comfortable to. This is going to be different for everyone. You're going to let the chest sink forward and then when you're there, when you feel that lovely stretch, just tune into your breathing and allow it to release in your hips. With every exhalation, we can soften into the posture. We inhale, new breath into the body, exhale, soften into the posture. Allow the knees just to do their thing, allow them to fall out and breathe. Good, a couple of breaths here. Trying to feel lengthened through the spine at the same time as folding forwards. Good, after your next exhalation, we're going to gently come up to sit nice and tall. Really good. And bring your legs back. So just give them a bit of a shake out wherever they are. Really nice. And we're going to begin winding down. So you'll already hopefully notice a little release in the hips. And we're going to come back to our position we did earlier, hands to the knees, and just start to make those circular motions again. And you may already notice a little difference in how this feels. You're just going one way, then the other, making shapes with the upper body. Good, so again, it doesn't take very long to find mobility in the lower body in just 15 minutes, and we're almost there. So we're just going to do a little bit of breathing to finish, to settle into the center. Let's inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale back down the center line, relax those arms onto the knees, softening the fingers and the wrists. Closing the eyes or just lowering the gaze and let's breathe to finish. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Lovely, last time. Well done everyone. And when you're ready to, you can blink your eyes open. Thank you for joining me for this Serene in 15 and I really hope it has helped you today. Namaste, well done.